Okay, so we've made it to the final module of the course, Flow. How do we take everything we've learned so far and put it all together in spoken fluency? Uh, right now we're with Brent. Uh, Brent, if you can introduce yourself and your French background. Yeah, sure thing. So uh, I've lived in France for about two and a half years, and I've been pretty middling on the language for most of that time. I have a French girlfriend and some French friends, so learning French and becoming fluent is pretty uh, important for me at this point in my life. Mm, great. Perfect motivation. So um, great. So what we're going to be doing with Brent is we're going to teach him how to rap in French. So you might be wondering, why, why are we learning rap? Well, once again, as we said from the very beginning of this course, all language is is a sequence of syllables arrayed across a melody and it's going fast. Everything we've been working with so far, we've been kind of keeping it slow, paying attention to different details. We've integrated it all during the integration session. Now we need to see if we can make it flow. And we're gonna start slow, gradually build the speed and make it flow. This process of Brent singing and rapping songs with a near perfect French accent is going to shape the muscles in his mouth so that when he goes back into the streets of Paris and it's time for him to speak normally, it'll be that much easier. If you can rap in French, then you can speak in French, right? So those of you who seem who feel a bit intimidated by this, uh, don't be. We're going to watch Brent go through this whole process. He's never done it before. And once again, that's like everything else we've done. We just start from the very basics and build on top of that. So the first thing we're going to train is the rhythm. So um, Brent, if you see here, the mm -hmm. um, rhythm section has a um, two audio files. What it's going to be is going to be actually an old recording of me, and I'm going to be clapping my hand. And what I want you to do is um, try to, do, I'll say the phrase, and then it'll be uh, a kind of a blank period try to repeat after it in the exact same rhythm. What I'm doing is I'm reducing the rhythm of the song to da and d. So on the da's, you want to say the da's loud and the d's mm -hmm. quietly. Anyways, it'll make sense to you in a second. Just uh, play that first audio from the beginning. Just press it, yeah, yeah. you press uh, the red button. Oh. Da, so. da, di, da, di, da, di, da, da, di, da, di, da, di, da, da. Yeah, so sing along with it. All right, great. So, good job. So, you notice how at first you're kind of like, what's going on here? It's like a random... Da -dee -das, and then all of a sudden you caught the pattern, right? There's there's a rhythmic pattern going on there. Now right. I want you to do it again. And then this time I want you to, to really sing along with it um, and really do the uh, da's loud and the d's quiet and sing along. What you're doing here is you're imprinting the rhythmic structure into your brain and your mouth and your ear. So mm -hmm. press play again. Try it. Okay. Continue with number one as well. Yeah. Yeah. Three, four, one. Da, di, da, di, da. Stop. All right, great. Now, um, the test, if you actually have it, see if you can say it out loud kind of two two times in a row. Da, di, da, di, da, di, da. Da, di, da, di, da, di, da. Perfect. Da. All right. Da. Okay. And Pretty just, good. Just, just for people to know, too, you see how it says click here for instructions? You just click on that for a little drop down. Uh, this one here. Yeah, yeah. So just, just so people know, the kind of written instructions are there, but we're doing it right now together, so you don't, you don't need to listen to this. Uh, okay. But if anyone forgets, just go there and it'll tell you what to do. Now go to um, the second one. So that was the first line of this song. You'll hear the song is in a bit. Now we're going to do uh, the second line. Press play on the second line. Three, four, one. Da, di, da, di, da, di, 
da di 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 All right, great. So um, as you see in this one, and a recommendation for people as well, especially if you're new to this, is it's good to have a silent, your first session be completely silent, you know, close your eyes, keep your body still, and just allow the thing to imprint into the mind so you're familiar with it. Then you're like, okay, now I know what I'm getting into. Uh, then press play again. You'll notice in this audio, there's some space allotted for you to kind of speak after me. So there's two types of kind of practicing and mimicry. You can either do it at the same time or do it after me, right? So you can hear your voice on its own. So the first two times you're gonna repeat after me and then the last times you're gonna be doing it with me. So try that again for, um, click on the audio. Three, four, one. Da, di, da, di, da, di, da, di. Da, di, da, di, da, di, da, di. All right, great. So can you, you, you can see it, sing it from heart now? Potentially. <laughs> uh, da, di, da, di, da, di, da. Di da di da di da di da di. Perfect. Great. Great. So now we know you have the rhythm for line one and line two. Once again, so what you've said is the syllable structure for what's going to be happening next. Now we scroll down to what the actual syllables are. So what's going on is those syllables are going to be replaced. Um, the da's and the d's are going to be replaced with the syllables you see here. So um, you're going to press play on each of these and afterwards. You're going to pronounce and repeat after me each of these um, syllables. So press play. Wait, is it like alternating? Like I'll um, listen you and then say. It. Just whatever you hear, up. there'll be a, exactly there'll be a space, and you just repeat right afterwards. Uh, okay. Okay. Simple. Key. 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 D. 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 A. 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 Great job. And the next one? Q. 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 E. D. 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 Ta. 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 Vai. 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 Those are good. Next one? Alors on danse. Key, 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 D, 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 Das, 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 Das. All right, scroll down more. T, 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 D, 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 L, 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 L. Nice. Good job. And one thing I want to comment to that, that uh, Brent is doing very well is um, he's you know, looking up to the sky. You can even close your eyes as well. And he's just focusing purely on the audio and doing his best to mimic it. You see we have the IPA here. I actually just decided just now we're going to hide that and have it toggle because I really don't want people to, a lot of people are very, um, their eyes are like addicted to visual symbols and they're like, Argh! and then they're looking at it. I see someone in my team actually put a typo there on a few of those things. So that could have thrown you off and make you mishear it. But because you weren't paying attention to the symbols, you were listening purely to the audio, um, you were able to mimic it perfectly. So good job on that. Great, so now you have the syllables, which is the, um, 
or you have the rhythm, which is the baseline structure, and now you have the components that you're putting into that structure. Now we're going to construct that structure in the construction section. So if you scroll down. All right. And then um, um, this time we're going to start off with the rhythmic structure. You're going to repeat after me for the dotty dotties. Uh, and then I'm going to say that same rhythm, but now with those syllables. So it'll make sense to you. Just press play. Okay. Am I to repeat in the intervals or just listen first? Uh, I'll repeat in the intervals. Actually, I do a listening first, just a listen through, and then that'll help you grade it. Okay. Three, four, one. Da, di, da, go. Da, di, da, go. T, D, A, go. T, D, A. T, D, A. T, D, A. All right, so when I start okay. go, you're going to jump right in. Got it? All right. So the first two are just getting the beat, and then it kicks into the actual thing. Yep. All right. Three, four, one. Da, di, da, go. Da, di, da. Da, di, da, go. Da, di, da. Nice. And if you notice too, there's an adjustment you're making towards the end, which is good. Uh, to really get the flow of it going. It's a call and response thing, right? It's like a, a song. So it's like, key D, yeah, key D, yeah. When I say key D, yeah, you say key D, yeah, right? It's like one of those kind of things. So the more you can kind of just stay on that beat, the more flow you get. Um, the music shuts down your brain, removes all the different psychological barriers that get in the way of people learning, and then just locks you into that zone. So we can go right in there and just reprogram your mind, put all kinds of subliminal messages, They're like five minute <laughs> method, five minute method, I'm joking. But anyways, uh, cool. So then uh, scroll down then, so that was good. Try it again for, you can just jump right into line one B, you don't have to do a listen through. Just read okay. it after. One, two, three, di da, di da, go. Di da, di da. Di da, di da. Di da, di da. Tu yi travail. Tu yi travail. To eat 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 travail. Stop. Nice. And then notice how Brent. Uh, at the beginning, he had one or two syllables off, and then the next version, he had just one syllable off, and the next one, he started to get it. So what's going on, and this is that idea of you perceive, you practice, and then you perform. You you hear, you hear you perceive it your first try, and then you try it yourself, but you get a step off, and you're like, oh. Mm -hmm. And then now your energy and your attention is being brought to that part you had off. And you're like, what did he say there? And you're like, ah, oh, okay, he said 2D. Right, and not uh, key D, and then you're like, ah, uh, and then you fix it. So it's this kind of auto fixing process that happens as soon as you mm -hmm. plug yourself into the flow, and then you get to that end and you get that feeling where it's like, oh, yeah, I'm on it. Like, it's just D, travail, two D, travail. And now we're kind of harmonizing there, right? Uh, cool. Now I'll try the next one. Yeah, by the end, I'd figured it out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Three, four, one, da, di, da. Go. Da da. Da di da. Go. Da di da. Ki 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 di Great, perfect. And then last one. One, two, three. Di 
didáctico. 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 Te di le tune. 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 Te di le Stop. Great. And once again, same process. First time around, he didn't get 100%, but each time he would bring his mind to the part that was not matched, not mimicked perfectly to the audio, and then fix and correct. What I recommend people doing is don't move on to the next audio until you've um, done, until you're able to do one flawless, right? So maybe the first time you get it mostly wrong, second time you get it mostly right. But then the third time you get it a hundred percent right, and that's how you know you really feel good about it. Now, all of this was just preamble to the to the actual kind of test. So if you click click on wrapping in French A memorization reduce speed. Now we're putting all this together. So your mouth has now said these lyrics, but now we're actually mm -hmm. doing it with the original speaker. So I press start session. And uh, try that. And what you can do is actually just pause it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, no worries. So once, once again, um, you want to listen to uh, the whole thing and try this for a second. Uh, try listening with your eyes closed, really focusing your attention on it. Why eyes closed? Because even when you're not looking at anything particular, when your eyes are open, much of your brain energy is given to your visual cortex. So just being able to like, um, just like have audio, uh, visual information is or visual attention is attention taken away from your auditory attention. So research shows that when you close your eyes, you actually bring, um, reallocate more resources to your listening and you listen more and you listen better. Mm. So really, it really does pay off and accelerate things much faster. So try doing that. You just want to listen to the whole thing, really lock in, don't move your mouth or anything. Just really allow this sound to imprint and just do that for this 30 seconds. Okay. First round, now it's imprinted into your brain. Now, mm -hmm. sing, try to sing along with the author, uh, with the singer, and really match his, uh, not just his um, pronunciation, but also the melody, the the vibe, like become the musician as much as you can, and like really like sing along. Oh, it's a bit challenging. <laughs> uh, number two, we're just back to number one, because it's slowed down, one, yeah. right? Yeah, so you want to you sing along with it the whole time. Okay. Great. So then once you've gotten that full round through, now see if you can do it from heart like two times. This one here? No, that one you just did. See if you can uh, recall it without the audio aid. Oh, okay. Qui dit tu tu travailles? Qui dit tu tu travailles? Comme ça? <laughs> yeah, so, so listen to it again and then so you're a bit off. So see if you can hear what you were doing different. So try okay. one more time. Just, just go through one more time and, and really focus on like and like those different um, elemental sounds, those different syllables, and see if you can get it perfect. <laughs> 
Tu travailles, qui dit tu tru travailles, qui dit tu tru travailles. Nice, so you got it all almost all good except for one syllable. So it's you're saying qui dit tu this one travail, qui dit tu travail, that one in the middle. Try listen to it one more time and see if you can focus your attention on that syllable, and then that'll be your final piece of the puzzle. Try it, okay. Exactly. I'll give you one one more tip too. So for the e qui die, uh you want a <laughs> slightly higher tongue position. So qui di e tu so try it that way. Qui di e? Yeah. Qui di e tu di travail. Perfect. Nice. All right. So just just to lock it in, because now you have it right at the precipice of perfection. Uh, say, uh, just repeat it two more times to the to the song. Qui di e tu di travail? Qui di e tu di travail? Try that. Qui di e tu travail? Qui di e tu di travail? Yeah, pretty good. All right, great. Okay. So that's okay. really good. So for those of you watching, this is what you should be expecting in terms of your experience doing this, right? You're not going to get it perfect on your first try. You're going to mess up and then you're going to go back and look at where you messed up and then clean that up and then do a little bit better and go back and you mess up. And you see that process of holding it in your head. Now, if you spend a good 30 minutes doing this over and over again, doing your reps, being persistent with it, what you'll find is that uh, it'll just lock into your mind. You go to sleep and you wake up the next day and all of a sudden you're like, qui dit tu dit travail, qui dit tu dit travail, and it really sticks in your head. And the question zooming back out to the top level is like, wait, why are we doing this again? It's not that you're going to be necessarily saying like to somebody on the street, hey, you know what they say, qui dit tu dit travail, and maybe, you know, that's, and then boom, then, you, then you'll nail that phrase. The point is, is that those syllables, qui dit et tu dit travail, in that rhythm and that rhythmic structure is going to reappear innumerable times when you go out there and speak French. The, um, and now each repetition you do is training your mouth to create those movements in those types of sequences and those types of patterns so that when someone says something else like, ouais, ouais, je pense que le travail, mais non, c'est la l'étude, and you're like, Huh. And then all of a sudden your brain is just locking in and flowing because it's like, wait, I've been here before. We're just reshuffling around the pieces. Does that make sense? Yeah, great. Now, if you go back. Um, just back right, in the browser again. Yeah, yeah, browse back. And then go to memorization full speed. We'll save that line one again. Start session. And then uh, press play on that first one. Qui 
Ah, c'est très classe. All right, so that's the one you already did. Now you're going to do a slightly slower version, so follow along with that second audio. This one here, lines one, two. Yeah. yeah. I should pray pause it. Sorry, I forgot that uh, I was trying to skip into the next one, but there's a second line from the last lesson as well. Qui dit taf de dile tune. Right, but I'll let you um, kind of practice that one on your own, but just to show people what it is, once you've learned both those lines, so if Brent had to continue on that last page, and then he did the same thing for the second line, he's like, qui dit taf de dile tune, qui dit et tu dit travail, qui dit taf de dile tune, qui dit et tu dit travail, right, and then he combines it together, um, one lines one to two, then he does a little bit faster, and then if you click on that last audio, Yeah. And pause it. Okay. Yeah. So it seems pretty tricky, right? Uh, but yeah. if you if you stick with it, I guarantee you at the at the rate you're going, based on my experience watching countless people do this kind of exercises, uh, you're pretty good actually. So um, in a single session of really intense, deliberate practice focus you know, 30 minutes uh, or something like that, um, you will be able to get to this point. You'll be kind of tripping over your tongue a little bit at the end, uh, but you do it, you feel that difficulty. And I really want to emphasize that um, a lot of people do not have recent experience um, doing learning a new motor skill. And therefore, their expectations of what that, the difficulty that that entails is like warped. So when they experience the difficulty that you're going to experience all of you while doing this exercise, you might be thinking, saying to yourself, oh, I messed up. I must be a bad person or something like that, right? And it's like, no, no, like this is literally what everyone has to go through. In fact, mm -hmm. it's the difficulty that trains your brain, right? So you have to learn how to re readjust your attitude uh, towards the challenge, towards the mistakes, towards the difficulty as seeing it as a good thing. You're like, ooh, look at me, I made a mistake again. Uh-oh, my brain's learning. I can just see, I like to visualize like the neurons in my brain, like, like, ooh, and then like, they like split into two or whatever, and then like start shooting more electricity to whatever. This is where the learning actually occurs. And you do it over and over again. And then at the end, your mouth should be tired. Your brain should be tired. You don't want to do anything after this for at least a couple of hours. Go eat something, get some glucose back in your system or whatever. And then when you go to bed and you sleep, that's when the real kind of things, the magic starts to happen. And you wake up the next morning, and I can guarantee you within 24 hours, you'll be saying these one lines one to two exactly how Stromae, the artist, is saying it right here. And it'll just be natural. Qui dit étude dit travail, qui dit taf de dit étude, qui dit argent dit dépense, right? It just kind of rolls off the tongue. And that feeling of these syllables flowing off your tongue effortlessly, this is the feeling that you're going to be transferring into your normal French speech. And that's what you want to have the ultimately. When you're speaking, you're kind of like, ouais, ouais, je pense que qui dit étude travail, qui dit pense que tu right? And that is what we're training here. This ability for the language to just naturally flow out of your mouth and into your ears, All right? Um, did you have any questions about any of that? Uh, nothing in particular. I mean, so uh, sounds pretty interesting and sounds like something, uh, Cool that you come up with, so I'm into it. <laughs> <laughs> cool, man. Uh, great. All right, well, thank you for being our uh, test subject here. You did a really good job. And um, for those of you watching, once again, just want to emphasize, be patient. Uh, don't be frustrated by the difficulty of it. Don't overdo it. Don't push it too far. If you get to a point where you just, you just, it'll, sometimes you keep pushing it, you try to do too many lessons at once, it, it'll feel like your brain just cannot learn another syllable. And you're like, what's wrong with me? I was able to do it at the beginning and not anymore. You really want to see this the same as any other physical skill. If you go to the gym and you start lifting weights in the bench press, and at first you can do five reps, but then by the end of the session, you're like hitting failure. You're not going to be like, oh, something's wrong with me. I'm a bad person. It's like, oh no, this is how muscles work. They get fatigued and then they stop working and then you rest them and then they recuperate, recover, and you get stronger right? It's just the same principles for everything in life, right? 
uh great so hope you guys have fun with that everyone does um and and i'm just one, one more thing too play around with closing your eyes test it one way or the other um the once again the more focus and attention you put into this activity or any activity the more you get out of it um so that's that for me and um if you guys have any questions send us an email or send us a support and uh we'll help you out there all right thank you guys thank you brett